Okay, so I showed you my route home from school, except two things have happened. One, I'm wearing a skirt and it's a little bit windy, so that's interesting. And two, my mum's offered to give me a lift from Huntingdon, so not that far away. So as I could talk to you now, I could see part of my route home, because that's just as interesting. But if I keep moving my hand, it's because my foot's going down. And I'm getting a few weird looks because this is like the main busy road in all of uh, Huntingdon and Hitchabrook area place. Yes. So, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go, and I will reappear in a field somewhere. Okay, so we're nearly at the field. We're just going through some parked cars. And uh, then we'll have to do the fields and get to time. It'll be awesome. Okay, so this is the way you guys use the tea because the station is that way. Yeah, that way is the station. Where I pick you guys up when we walk. So you kind of know this route. Oh, there's people. Right, there's quite a few people in the field, so they can just look at me weird. So the fence is broken here because we think horses escaped from the field. So there were horses at one point and they vanished. My friend Gemma thinks they got shot, but I would quite like to disagree. Um, so yeah, there's usually cows in this field, and we call it the cow field, surprise surprise. But there aren't any uh, cows at the moment. Um, a few rabbits though. So I walk this way, ooh, skittles. I walk this way every day to school, and yeah. Okay, so the field's now empty. That's A14. Up there. Um, but I don't know, I like this field. It's kind of like my little bubble on my way to and from school. Um, yeah, it's quite cute. What was I going to say? You guys mentioned stuff and my mind's completely gone blank. Other than Broadchurch is on tonight. Um, and I've been watching Endeavour, which is pretty cool. good. It's got Sean Evans and uh, Roger Allen in. Speaking of Roger Allen, uh, and Colin Morgan. They're uh, they're in the Tempest and I think we've told you guys, me and Claire, that we are going to see it hopefully. And it should be awesome. And it'll be at the glow and yeah, all Shakespeare stuff. Um oh yeah, I thought <laughs> side note, um, this afternoon in English we were doing a poem called Lay Down the Swan. And it sounds all cute, like, oh there's a girl a swan and no, really no. No. Because it's Greek mythology, so it's bound to be messed up. So that was interesting. Going through how a swan rapes the person. Yeah. <laughs> Never again, I don't think. So yeah, we're nearly at the end of the field. Just looks like a giant path. Um, but yeah. This is where I made snow angels when it snowed, so that was fun. And uh, this is usually when I realise I'm late on my way to school, which is interesting, because it usually involves running, but not today, because of the skirt. Seriously, the one day that my um, my trousers are in the wash just happens to be the day it's windy. Brilliant. I got a few compliments. People were like, oh, a skirt, Becca, really? I'm like, yeah, trousers are in the wash. So that's fun. Yeah, we're nearly at time. Can you see in the distance? Yes, I think you can. But it's stressful though, because exams are soon. And every day, when I walk up to the private study room, which happens every day, they have this piece of like like block of paper that's got how many school days left to exams. And as I got to down to like teens, it's like 15, 16 days, which is slightly terrifying. Just every time you walk up, up the Every day, just every day, it's so stressful. I think that's about it. Other than, oh, exams. <laughs> you can tell I'm stressed in the moment. Uh, my brothers have returned from Scotland. Hooray. Yeah, boring stuff to eat. Um, no, it's nice, they're sweet, they're cute. Alistair has been lovely. Which is a surprise, and Andrew just played Skyrim in his room. Which isn't a surprise. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. <laughs>